I am, uh, I'm in Kentucky. I have been getting my butt kicked by those Georgia public land swamp bugs. I've had, I've put in hundreds upon hundreds of miles trying to figure out those bugs. And I'm getting close, I'm getting really close. I had, uh, basically this year, you know, I already told you the last video about the whole COVID crap, that kind of set me back. But then when I needed to be there on these spots I'd scouted that I knew from past year's experience and historical multi-mobile trail camera data about what times of the year I needed to be there. Well, had a wedding to go to which, you know, my buddy Anderson, congrats to him. I don't regret at all celebrating his wedding. We had a good time. <laughs> Anyhow, then I missed a few opportunities then. Then I had uh, another prior obligation I had to go to. Big deer just strolling. I found out later when the pictures came through, like the next day, strolling right there, sit, like right beside the tree that I like to climb. But then I had a torrential downpour too, and the spots that I wanted to hunt flooded out on me. So I made up to where it pushed the deer out. Couldn't adjust. I say all that to say this. I drove throughout the night. I'm here. I'll be hunting about 15 days. We'll see how it goes. It's cold. Temp dropped about 30 degrees since I got here. And it's steady steady dropping got a strong north northwest wind and i'm hoping i'm right here where i had a buck last year right there i should have shot if y'all follow the kentucky videos from last year i had about a i don't know mid 30s 140 inch 10 point Right there, I should have drawn when he was coming. I could have shot him right there, but I didn't. Anyhow, I say all that to say this. It's, uh, it's been quite a rodeo, but we're going. I'm trying to turn it around. Got a lot of content coming down the pipe. Regardless, I got 15 days. And I'll have some content out. Whether I kill some or not, that is yet to be determined. But if my calculations are accurate, I should be putting myself in good spots and have some good sits. The weather's like absolutely perfect. So not dealing with heat this same time last year, I dealt with a lot of warm weather. So anyhow, rode the boat in here. <laughs> Basically, 
I'm on the point where it necks down, or if he runs this little route on this wind looking for a first available doze, I should be right here in the chips. We shall see. It's about, I got settled about 11 a.m. Because it just started to stop raining. It rained hard till about 10, 10 o'clock. I got in here about 11 a.m. It's now about 2, 2.30. So there's your update. Now, let's resume the hunt. Filming a little bit more, but they're uh, ended up being five big does and one one little one. Well, I'm filming them still. Ended up being five big does, one little one. Just hitting that native cool season annuals. a pattern where all the deer congregate or if a big shooter comes out on down I can adjust tomorrow I'll check back with y'all when I got something else that transpires alright the does came back they're, they're crossing the water I got a buck coming not a shooter nice little buck Oh dear.
close to five o'clock. Those four does came on back by me, got about even with me, played in the water some, got on down another 75 down. They were 150 up, then they came all the way back down. They're staying on that side of the slough. Man, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing, but I wanna keep y'all in on the loop. So, the right side of this slough, on the other side of the water, is where all the deer, which is what I figured that's where the does would be. I also figured some does would be on this other side that I'm on. But, Everything's came from across. And I would suspect a big buck is supposed to come out of the side that I'm on because the bedding sets up for it, everything sets up for it. I know the, the bigger deer lay on this side, so we'll, we'll see what's going on. We got another two hours on at least something like that got about 45 minutes left I saw a buck bumping a doe way on down about 20 minutes ago haven't seen anything since Wow. Man, nothing says Kentucky like filling your truck up when you get gas for the boat, parking it at the boat landing, only to have some meth head, meth turkey, meth head, siphon all your gas out of your tank. Wow. Tell you what, me in Kentucky, stolen boots, stolen gas, siphoned out of my daggum tank. It beats all I've ever seen. It really does. Well, saw a bunch of deer this evening. Got the boat out at the boat landing, and uh, yes, yeah, when I discovered that someone siphoned a whole tank of gas out of my truck, I didn't see any leaks. I'm gonna go right back where I parked. I know there ain't no gas leak in my tank, so yeah, gotta love it. See y'all tomorrow, should be good. There's a little point where all these deer, I saw a nice buck, I couldn't tell he's so far away, but he was cut, he was running a doe across this point, and it's the same thing they were doing last year, so I'm gonna go in there and make me a little blind. I got a good win for it tomorrow, gotta figure it kind of got to figure out how to get in there access.